Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Comes in handy if you have a teenage son who likes to carry it around in his back pocket and fall on it occasionally. I speak from experience. Hey, smoke out there tonight, it's very interesting. It's sort of a mystery as to where it's coming from. There are some suggestions that it's coming out of southern parts of Oklahoma where there were numerous grass fires and wildfires down there. And then there's a controlled burn in southern Tulsa County, so maybe that's lending more of the smoke instantly here into Tulsa County. But across, oh, say, um, parts of McIntosh County or even Pittsburgh County, and Haskell County, that smoke that we saw at sunset might be responsible for some of these wildfires. Look here in Pushmataha County, right there. That smoke streams all the way up into Haskell County and parts of Muskogee County. So there's a possibility that some of this smoke we're seeing here could be from that, or it's related to some of those closer in controlled burns down to the south of Tulsa. Regardless, it's 49 degrees outside, and we have a south wind at 8 miles an hour. The dew point's at 25. That's pretty dry air. I'm going to show you the satellite radar picture here in just a second. And there is a little bit of light precipitation trying to move toward Tulsa falling through that drier air. I would expect that to evaporate most of it. So the best I could see out of this, and this isn't very heavy at all, would be a couple of sprinkles out toward Woodward where it's colder. There are a couple of snowflakes. I don't think we see any snowflakes across the area at all tonight. And I'll show you why here with future tracks. We put it into motion. Watch how this just fizzles out. I mean, it's gone by tomorrow morning. The temperature barely gets down to freezing. And then tomorrow afternoon, yeah, it's cooler than it was today. We made it up to 57 today. It's in the lower to middle 50s tomorrow. It's still a nice day. Uh, we'll have a west wind at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then Sunday morning, watch what happens. Even though we have northwesterly winds, look at the temperature. It soars to 57 thanks to that, what I've explained several times, that downsloping wind coming off the Rockies, that air as it rushes out across the central plains, it warms by compression as it sinks, and therefore you get the big warm-up. So that'll happen on Sunday. Here's Robert Browning's sunrise this morning from Independence, Kansas. That's an impressive picture. And Tony Young doing great work again with sunset over the Arkansas River tonight. And Andy Pranger, thank you very much for this smoky sunset down in Wilburton. And that's what we were talking about, some of those grass fires down to the south. 33 tonight, cloudy skies. I'll keep everything mainly dry here. 32 in Grove, 33 Tahlequah, 32 at Okmulgee, Bristow down to 29, one of the colder spots. And then tomorrow, we'll wake up to a beautiful sunrise at about 7.30 tomorrow. So grab your camera, send in a picture. 48 at noon, 53 in the, at about 4 p.m., but I think we can hit about 55 in Skyatook and 55 also in Pryor. 55 in Tulsa, Okmulgee, Muskogee, and about 55 also at Shakota and Wilberton into the middle 50s tomorrow. And then the seven-day forecast, loving Sunday, 36 in the morning, 59 in the afternoon, 45 on Monday, kind of cold in the morning. Chilly day Monday, I guess, comparatively to what we have, 50 on Tuesday, 55 Wednesday, and then the 60s Thursday and Friday. I guess when you call 45 chilly, <laughs> everything's relative. You're spoiled. <laughs> You're spoiled. Yeah. Yeah, with all the rest of the 50s, we're not complaining. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Brevin.